What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to talk about with you guys. This time actually revolving around the Miami Heat and Indiana Pacers with it, uh, Pacers with it currently being reported that Victor Oladipo is the Miami Heat's number one target for 2020 and this is all being reported by Barry Jackson. Now, I've talked about it a couple times on this channel that it looks like that the Miami Heat are going to be extremely interested in Victor Oladipo. If you guys haven't seen those videos, I'll definitely go check it out. There's been a couple of them. For example, the New York Knicks as well have been pretty interested in Victor Oladipo. Now, for those of you who didn't know, it was actually being reported, I'd say, maybe a couple months ago or so that Victor Oladipo was actually offered a four-year deal, $20 million per season, by the Indiana Pacers, where he actually declined the deal. Now, this is uh, this is extremely interesting, considering Victor Oladipo has been out for most of the year, and I think that that could have actually been a pretty nice deal, because there's no really 100% you know, confirmation that he could come back how he was bef you know, before when he was playing, pretty much at his peak, and he is getting older in age right now, so nobody exactly really knew. He's been okay since coming back, and I I expect him to, you know, break out even more when the playoffs do kind of rock around. Yeah, I do expect him to kind of fully, you know, not fully, but hopefully get over more of that injury. Maybe that's just what he's going to do. He's going to play out next season then, you know, kind of see if maybe that four-year deal was the right deal and that maybe he could still take it or maybe he might be able to, you know, try and make some more money here and there. But that doesn't necessarily mean he is leaving the Indiana Pacers at all. But this doesn't stop rumors that a lot of teams are, you know, extremely interested in him. And Miami Heat and the New York Knicks have been the two main ones with it. Again, currently being reported that the Heat are really content with trying to, you know, sign him in 2021 and not even just trade for him. It looks like they're that confident they're actually going to wait for free agency to come around. So again, he is their number one target for 2021, which is, you know, extremely interesting because a player under the name of Giannis Antetokounmpo is currently going to be a free agent, it looks like, for that free agency as well. And again, I've reported on it. It looks like the Golden State Warriors and, you know, the Miami Heat are the main two teams that are interested in him and look like they could actually potentially sign him. But of course... You know, that's not saying that Giannis, you know, won't actually continue to stay at the Bucks. That's why I think it's a much safer option for the Heat to, you know, not necessarily... Look, they can still target Giannis, but it's not a certainty that they're actually going to be able to get Giannis at all. I mean, Giannis could re-sign with the Bucks. He could do a sign and trade maybe and get at the Golden State Warriors. He could literally go to the Raptors or the New York Knicks, you know, for all we know. Again, some of you may have just laughed at your screen when I said the New York Knicks, but pretty much what I'm saying by that is, I believe it was actually the president of the Raptors maybe going to the Knicks, and apparently Giannis has a very close friendship with him or something like that. So that could be the rumor that's going on right there. Again, I don't necessarily think it's going to happen. I think Giannis is either going to stay at the Bucks or go to the Heat or the Golden State Warriors, but... Of course, this is not to say that the Heat aren't confident that they can't get him. This is kind of just saying that by them being interested in Victor Oladipo and him being their number one option right now, that he's the more likely option. He's the more safe option that the Miami Heat could potentially get. And of course, he fits in great with how the Miami Heat obviously play. Eric Spolstra likes to, you know, I'd say his number one obje you know, object and how he likes to go about his games his number one task, really, and how he sees everything is kind of defense. Defense is really everything for, you know, even Pat Riley as well, not even just Eric Spolstra, but that's just kind of how he likes to go about it. And Victor Oladipo definitely, you know, does take that in quite a bit. You know, he is, I believe, six foot four, I'm pretty sure, playing shooting guard. So he's a pretty nice height, I would say. And he, yeah, again, is a very, very nice defender. And pretty much just a nice scorer, but this is really the Miami Heat trying to build in a really nice big three of Victor Oladipo, Jimmy Butler, and Bam Adebayo, which I think would by far, realistically, be the best, you know, defensive three in the NBA right now. That would be absolutely insane. If you can get a fully fit Victor Oladipo on your team where he gets, you know, the quick feet back, all of that type of stuff, he's going to be an absolute astonishing defender, and I think can be really, really good for the uh, Miami Heat. And of course, he's currently averaging 13.8 points right now, 3.2 rebounds and three assists on 30% from three. Not great numbers in 25.9 minutes, but again, he's been injured for so long. Before this, he was averaging 18.8 points, 5.2 assists and 5.6 rebounds. 
and his best season where he was averaging 34 minutes per game. He was on 23.1 points, 4.3 assists, 5.2 rebounds, and 37.1% uh, from three. He was going absolutely off this season. His defense was out of the charts, and he has just been known as a very good defender. Yeah, he's six foot three without shoes, so with, you know with shoes on, he's about six foot four. So again, that would just be a very, very nice partnering up with the, how the Miami Heat are going on. And I honestly believe they could get him for like 22 million a season. And you know, Bam could. I honestly think, yeah, Bam's probably going to want near to the max, probably like 25 million. So they've got three near max players. They're still going to have some cap to have, you know, a bunch of role players like Duncan Robinson. You know, they might be able to get him on five to eight million dollars per season. I'd probably say it'd be like five million. Done. You've got enough cap for him as well. Tyler Hero, going to be on his rookie deal. Got enough cap for him as well. Goran Dragic, potentially, maybe 5 to $8 million. You're probably going to have enough cap for him as well. This is going to be so many players, like Kali Olenek as well. They're most likely going to have enough cap. So, again, these players, they're going to be able to build this relatively big three that is just very good defensively and one of the best defensive big threes really we're ever going to see, especially in today's NBA. And then they're going to be able to keep that nice bench core and the... Um, you know, the role players that uh, is around the, you know, Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. So, I think this is extremely interesting by the Miami Heat and how they're kind of going through it all. And realistically, they could still try and just, you know, trade for him. For example, if Victor Oladipo, I doubt he's going to request a trade. But if the Pacers aren't confident that Oladipo is going to sign and they're having a relatively mediocre season, which, again, I doubt they will. They're always going to be like that fifth or fourth seed. So... You know, let's just say they have a season where maybe they drop to the sixth one. I still don't think they'd trade Victor Oladipo at the trade deadline, but who knows? Maybe the Heat could actually try and get him there. Now, if we were to look at a sign and trade, or maybe just a trade in general, what would it be? Now, a trade, I think it would probably be maybe two first round picks and a couple of nice role plays like Jay Crowder and Myers Leonard. That would probably get the deal done because, of course, you know, all the depot's value has dropped quite a bit. There's no guarantee that he's going to necessarily come back to what he originally was playing at. And he's, you know, on a big deal. He's currently on $20 million or so right now to kind of only play, you know, 25 minutes on not the great defense because of his injury and just to put on 30, uh, 13 points per game. Again, that's not exactly the greatest. And some people actually consider all the to have a bad contract right now. But what people are going to remember is... He was injured for so long, and to come back the way he has so far, I think has been pretty good. I do expect him to get back up to 18 points, which I think will boost his value up quite a bit. So who knows, maybe the Heat will have to throw in some more picks or bigger name players, like maybe even a Duncan Robinson here and there as well to try and get him. But of course, I think the, Heat's, the Heat are going to try and keep all of their players. I don't think they're going to try and trade for him at all, and you know, if he does actually get back from his injury and gets back to the form that he was putting up before his injury, his, you know, trade value is going to be a lot more than two first-round picks, you know, and a couple of decent role players here and there. It's probably going to be up to, like, three first-round picks and maybe another nice role player here and there as well because those first-round picks by the Heat aren't going to be exactly that great. So, again... I've got no idea. I think the Heat are just going to wait to sign him in 2021. And by then, I think they're going to definitely have enough money. Like Solomon Hill, I believe, is on $10 million. He will be expiring. Andre Iguodala, they could just potentially keep on for next season on that big $18 million or whatever he's going to be making. Then he'll be expiring and put him on the minimum. Those two players that, again, probably going to be making $25 million between the two, then will both become minimum players. That's just like, like already Victor Oladipo's contract right there on those two, you know, below average role players are going to be you know Victor Oladipo who can be the nice third star for the team and I think that's definitely going to be a championship contender let's just say they keep this core imagine seeing this on the court like you got potentially I'd say it could be they could actually roll out Victor Oladipo at point guard if they really wanted to but I think they'll keep Kendrick Nunn let's just say you know maybe got Kendrick Nunn at point guard they have Oladipo at shooting guard um Jimmy Butler at small forward I don't know who would be playing power forward. It could still be Bam out of Bayer than playing Myers Leonard at center, but I think they're going to want to move out of Bayer to the power forward. Who knows? Maybe um to the center. Sorry. Who knows? Maybe they could even play Jimmy Butler as a small ball power forward because he's such a good defender. And then you know try and fit Tyler Hero into that starting five. Like imagine that starting five because Tyler Hero 
is not a not the worst defender. He's not a, really a great defender, but he is six foot five. Can probably play that small forward. That would be a really interesting team. You know, Kendrick Nunn, Victor Oladipo, Tyler Hero, and Jimmy Butler at a small ball four, and then Bam at a bite at center. That would be a really nice, interesting team. And it's not like the defense wouldn't be there as well because, yes, you're playing Jimmy Butler out of position, but he's still one of the best defenders in the NBA. Some people even consider him to be the best defender in the NBA, which I don't really know. I think Kawhi and Giannis might have him, but he's not far behind. But again, he could definitely probably try and play that small ball power four position and then Bam can play, obviously, center. So, again, I think that's going to be extremely interesting to see what the Miami Heat are going to be potentially doing. But I do see a way where they could try and keep Jimmy Butler, Bam, Goran Dragic, Kendrick Nunn, Duncan Robinson, Tyler Hero, and Victor Oladipo all on the same roster. That is an absolute crazy team right there. But anyone, to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA news and NBA content. Don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on this? Do you guys think it'd be a good idea by the Miami Heat to try and go after Victor Oladipo? Do you guys think they shouldn't? Do you guys think they should? Again, I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions on it all down below. But also, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRO Slack Vlog channel. Links for them will all be in the description down below. Definitely go check out my podcast as well if you haven't already. Where I talk about all the latest sports content and sports news, all that type of stuff. Links for that will also be in the description down below. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.